Hello everyone! Today I'm making a coconut pie crust with a cheesecake filling. So hit that subscribe button and watch me cook! So the Khloe Kardashian bomb ash cheesecake kept popping up on my page, so I thought I'd give it a try. I actually had to go out and buy a spring form pan for this because I've never made a cheesecake before. I'm actually doing one thing differently. I'm making a coconut flakes crust. I did mess up. You were supposed to throw these into a food processor for a bit, but it still worked out. I used three cups of coconut flakes and five tablespoons of coconut oil. I just poured all of this into the pan and pressed it down, spreading it as evenly as possible with the spoon. You can buy the unsweetened coconut flakes and go ahead and add your own sugar substitute to make this diabetic friendly, but this is vegan, paleo, and gluten free. Of course, you can make a graham cracker crust if you'd like. But go ahead and bake this at 325 for 10 minutes. Isn't this a beauty? Now just set it aside and let it cool while we work on our filling. I'm actually making half of Chloe's recipe because that's a lot of cheesecake. I started off with my sour cream and two and a half packages of cream cheese with my vanilla extract and started mixing. I would mix and I would stop every time I needed to add an ingredient in just the way that Chloe did it. So I stopped and added my sugar and flour and started blending everything again until it was well combined. You're supposed to use one egg per package of cream cheese. I went ahead and used three. So using the same method as Chloe, I added one egg, blended it, stopped, added another egg, blended it, and did my final egg doing the same thing. Continue mixing everything until it's nice and smooth. Once we're done with our filling, our pie crust should be cooled down by now. We're going to pour our cheesecake filling in and just try to smooth it out as much as possible. I ended up shaking mine back and forth a little bit just to try to flatten it out, but whatever method works for you. So to keep it from cracking, you're supposed to lay tin foil down and place your cheesecake in the middle of it. And then we're just going to wrap it up tightly as possible so you don't get any of the water actually in the cheesecake itself. The whole point of this is to keep the cheesecake from cracking on top. Seriously smash the tin against the pan tightly. So I didn't have a pan large enough to hold my springform pan so I went ahead and used my oven proof skillet and add about an inch of water into this. I ended up baking mine for 45 minutes. After the time is up, go ahead and turn off the heat and let it sit there for one hour with the door cracked open. Now that that's done, you're supposed to let it chill in the refrigerator for four hours up to overnight. I let mine chill overnight. Our cheesecake's done. At this point, you can eat a plain or add whatever topping you'd like. Since I made a coconut crust, I went ahead and toasted about one cup of coconut flakes on my stove top for about one minute on high heat. Make sure you keep an eye on these because they'll burn pretty easily. Now grab a knife or a pie cutting tool and carefully slide it around the outer edge of your pie to loosen it. I went ahead and sprinkled my coconut flakes on the outer edge of my springform pan of the cheesecake. Time to release the pan and show it off. I was seriously amazed this worked because this is the first time I've ever done this. <laughs> my family really liked the outcome of this cheesecake. I'm not a cheesecake connoisseur so I don't really know what they're supposed to taste like but Everybody seemed to love it. If you guys like this video, please subscribe. And until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.